We're the only two left in our chalk. No radio, no drones. Between the two of us, we got two rifles and eight mags. Locals got water here. And some supplies. He believes this place, man. Goddamn. My mind's blown. Yeah. And they're friendly, more or less, but they're still keeping us on a short leash. You boys know what took out our birds. No clue. But there are definitely hostiles out there. Tangled with some troops out there who were calling themselves wolves. You know who we're dealing with? Now you're dealing with me. You the one in charge here? Who's asking? My call sign's Nomad. I'm the officer in charge of this operation. By operation, I assume you mean the massively wild screw-up. Hey, old man. You playing nice? I'm just trying to find out why a bunch of grunts are falling from the sky into our laps, honey. Well, someone sank a naval cargo ship off the coast. Then the entire archipelago of Aurora went dark. Now we were sent here to figure out what happened. Next thing we know, her choppers were taken down. Almost half of my soldiers are dead. Best we can tell, there's some kind of military takeover. Sentinel, military contractors, they put this place under martial law, using the old boot in the neck technique to enforce it. Skaltek is still making all the high tech stuff they always make, except maybe now they're making more weapons. Not exactly the libertarian utopia J. Skell advertised. Well, where can I find J. Skell? Ah, uh, the head of Skeltech himself. Mm. We haven't seen him, but. His drones are keeping an eye on his islands. So you think he's still a part of this? I'm just not sure why. All right. Well, I'll put figuring it out on my to-do list. For now, Kessiar wounded? Yeah. One of your guys needs to rest, but he won't shut up. Calm him down, yeah? And then come find me. I'll give you the guided tour. <laughs> 